Place your harness in front of you and step through the leg loops and waistband. Tighten the harness so that it's secure. Make sure the harness isn't twisted. Make sure the waistband sits securely above your waist. Make sure the harness isn't facing backwards. Look for a route to climb with your climbing partner. The climber attaches the rope to their harness using a figure of eight knot. Put the end through both of the tie-in loops and follow the figure of eight. Make sure you start at the right end of the knot. Follow the knot until you've got a double figure of eight. Make sure the rope goes through both of the tie-in loops and not through the belay loop. The belayer feeds the rope through the belay device and attaches it to the belay loop of their harness using a carabiner. Make sure the belay device is set up correctly. Check the carabiner is locked and the rope is facing the right way. Check the carabiner is attached to the belay loop. Before our partners can start climbing, they've got to do a partner check. First check yourself and then your partner for the following. Is the harness put on correctly? Is the figure of eight correct? And does it go through both the tie-in loops? Is the belay device set up correctly? And is the carabiner locked? Are we both attached to the same rope? This is an easy mistake to make when in a climbing wall where the ropes are close to each other. When belaying, you can use both a hand over hand technique as well as a shuffle technique, but you must always hold the brake rope. When the climber gets to the top, they shout take. The belayer takes in the rope and lowers the climber. 